Hey guys, it's Leo K. So I just want to talk a little bit about parkour. Just a small amount. It's not going to be huge. Um, it, it'll just be like some basic stuff. You should have figured out most of this on your own, but this is for people who haven't played the game and who want like a more detailed breakdown of, you know, the most basic parkour mechanics. Okay, so first things first, you can obviously hold parkour to jump and you can keep holding the button down to roll when you hit the ground from great heights. Uh, someone, I think it was Gatsuul on the subreddit, said that you would have to time it when you hit the ground. You don't have to do that. You can just hold it down. It'll save you a lot of frustration. Um, however, I didn't even know you could roll in this game until Gatsuul informed us. So, shoutouts to that person. They're wonderful. Now, uh, you can also parkour down, which is less crazy and flashy than it was in oh, Unity and Syndicate. You. It'll just go straight down. It's much more controlled. It's tighter. I like it. I know some people don't like it, and they would prefer to have the old kind of controlled descent style system back. And it's still sort of here. You would just have to do it from, you know, the same heights that you would in Unity and Syndicate, just short drops. And to do that, you just hold forward. If you fall from a great height, Bayek will stumble like that, and he will, you know, make a little pain sound. You won't personally take damage, like your HP will be unaffected, but it's a bit sloppy, so once he steps off the ledge, just hold your parkour button to roll, and that's that. For back ejects, you would just climb a wall, you know, you, you can be on the side of a wall, and just back eject, it's fine. Um, side ejects are less consistent, I can't really get them super easy and super well. I think you would have to have them be, uh, you know, at the edge of something for it to really work. So, you know, you would just kind of like hold parkour and to the right. But as long as you're at the edge of something, they will work. It's just tough to force one when you're not at the edge of something. And if, if I'm tapping the button, then it's not really, uh... It, sometimes it will just back eject, even if I'm kind of holding side. Actually, no. If you're holding side, it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, um, works on edges. You know, just hold it, or be holding to the side and tap your button. Now, you can obviously do tree running still. Like it's it's still very much a thing. Um, and in terms of like parkour between very closely linked objects you don't need to hold parkour you can just move onto it kind of this is especially helpful in uh, a late game main mission where you will have to do some parkour see i just moved forward i didn't even press any buttons there it's just movement uh but it's handy during a certain late game mission where you have to climb over a bunch of like burning ships and stuff so that is pretty good and yeah, see, just just movement. You don't actually have to use your your button. You can just move onto things. This is a jump, so you do have to jump it. More movement, and of course, when the see this is too great of a fall, so you would have to parkour down. You kind of like roll. So yeah, that's that. Some basic parkour stuff.